Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing a live comparison versus using the AI agent versus doing things manually on Adobe Stock. Thinking about how long it takes, seeing the result comparison, and truly just giving a full comparison between the two potential options. You can go out there, tag and title images yourself, or you could use the AI agent to get the results for you. The first thing we want to see is how long it's actually going to take for the AI agent to tag 100 images. So what I did was I recorded a clip uh, starting from literally the first image all the way down to the 100th. I just left the computer alone, just hit that record button, and it started recording, or it completely recorded, the full 100. So let's go ahead and let's play a very quick 20 second clip of the AI agent that's fast forwarded, it's sped up, uh, tagging 100 different images. <laughs> So let's actually do the math on this, okay? I want to figure out now how beneficial is the tool. If I sat down and took only a minute and 12 seconds to tag and title every single photo individually, and I had to do that 100 times, I would essentially take a 1 minute and 12 seconds and multiply that by 100. Now, we can't take 1 minute and 12 seconds. Let's actually figure out the seconds in this. So 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. 60 plus 12 is 72. So in this case, we're going to take 72 and we're going to multiply it by 100. Why 100? Because there's 100 photos here and it takes, like I said, approximately 72 seconds at the very minimum to tag an image. We haven't even calculated the maximum yet, but 72 seconds times 100. Total, that would be 7,200 seconds to title this entire thing. Now, if we divide that by 60 to figure out how many minutes, that would be equivalent to 120 minutes, which really equates to two hours. So it would effectively take two hours to tag 100 different images. Now, you could be a little bit faster, a little bit slower, and that's why this is kind of roughly the minimum average. Well, that's the minimum average, 120 minutes. But let's say if you're on the slow end, let's say it takes you about 2 minutes and 54 seconds to tag each uh, photo, right? So at the very longest, potentially. So let's say 2 minutes, 54 seconds. We multiply that by 60, excuse me, so 60 here, just to figure out how many seconds that is. And it comes out to 152 seconds uh, for the total amount of seconds per image. So we take that, we multiply that by 100, okay, so let's go ahead and do that real quick, and we have 15,240. Uh, you know, not too bad, I mean, at least it doesn't look like it's too bad. We take the 15,240, and we divide that by the 60 to figure out how many minutes, and we can see here that it will take 254 minutes to essentially tag and title 100 images at the maximum amount of time. Now, in your case, it might take you 45 seconds to tag an image. It might take you 60 seconds to tag an image. It might take you 20 seconds. It might even take you a minute and 50 seconds. Everybody's a little bit different. However, to be fair, right, you're probably not just sitting and tagging the entire time. You're probably listening to music. You might get up and use the bathroom for a minute. You might uh, catch a drink real quick. You might get some water. You might look around. You might turn on the TV. There are natural distractions, and that's why we're kind of asserting in this kind of time, I guess you could say, uh, timing threshold from maximum to minimum in a natural sort of environment. Nobody just sits down like some sort of, you know, exam, right? Like they're taking the SATs or something and works on this as if it's they're doing the same thing. So in this case, you're probably tagging and titling in a natural, casual environment. You're looking around, you're picking your head up, you're catching a drink, using the bathroom, things like that that simply get in the way. And that's kind of why we kind of match this. So 254 minutes, if you really think about it, and you divide that by 60 again, we can figure out how many hours that is. And it comes out to four hours and two minutes. So if, or 4.2 hours, right? So that's, you know, a quarter, let's just say 25% of an hour, 
is roughly a quarter, so close to 15 minutes. If I calculate it properly, it's probably be about 13 minutes and 50 seconds. But who's really counting? It doesn't really matter at this point. So if you're sitting down and you're trying to tag and title 100 different images, right? You're probably going to sit there for anywhere from an hour and, uh, you know, 12 minutes all the way up to four hours and, or excuse me, two hours all the way up to um, uh, four hours and two and two and a quarter, right? Four hours and a quarter. Uh, so that's a long time and that's for a hundred images. Well, let's just give a conservative three hours, right? If we sat there tagging and titling our images with the AI agent for simply three hours, what would we get? Well, remember, we tagged and titled 100 images in a period of 7 minutes and 54 seconds. Let's be generous and call it 8 minutes, right? Let's give the leeway to the human beings that are competing against this thing, and let's say 8 minutes. 8 minutes for 100 images. Well, in that case, if we take 60 minutes and divide it by 8, right, that would be 7 7.5 sessions of tagging 100, which really just means 7.5 times 100, which equals to 750 images in an hour. Well, we take the 750 and we multiply it by 3 to represent the 3 hours, and that comes up to 2,250 images that are tagged. So imagine, right, letting a machine do the tagging for you. But here's the thing, you don't have to sit behind a computer for three hours to get 2,250, uh, you know, images being tagged. All you have to do is just click a button. Now, you saw how long it took me to click a button. It took simply one second. Well, I'm going to have to do that for every 100 pages. So if I take the 2,250 and divide this by 100, that comes out to 22 and a half. So essentially, I'm going to have to click... 22 and a half times. So let's just call it 23 to keep it even. And let's just say it takes me a second to simply start the tool and click 23 times. So that's 23 seconds that it takes me to essentially tag and title 2,250 images. So the question is, would I much rather take 23 seconds to tag and title uh, 2,300 images over time? Or would I much rather sit there and manually tag a hundred images in anywhere from two to four hours and a quarter. Well, for me, it's pretty easy. I'm going to use a machine that's going to do that for me. Not only is it going to speed things up, but I'm allowed to give it more instructions. I let the AI scan the image for me, title and tag in the way that I request. You can see here, I can set my keyword quantity. I can set my specific instructions. And let's go ahead and actually test these instructions. Now, once again, I pulled out these instructions from a video that I created for my members that has a total of 20 different title instruction sets and 20 different description instruction sets that you can pull and match from. The point that I am trying to achieve with my personal tagging to achieve the highest um, you know, success possible is an extreme amount of diversity within my tags. So let's go ahead and look at some of these submissions. Here we have a picture of a guy that looks like he's floating up to the sky, if you will, almost like a saint. Um, and, you know, the background is kind of dark, but there's like this beaming light, sparkles. I mean, it's quite interesting, to say the least. So let's kind of look at the title, let's look at the tags, and let's see if it is unique in its own kind of way. So the title here says, Ethereal Light and Spiritual Ascension. A mystical atmosphere of serene transformation and divine presence. Now, I don't know about you, but I personally would not have titled this image that myself had I been sitting there manually. I'm just going to keep it real. I probably would have titled uh, a man floating up to the sky like a saint with bright lights. I mean, I mean, that's all I could really think of. But I wouldn't be able to think of this interesting uh verbose use of words. I mean, that's just my opinion. Now we look at the tags and compare it to yourself. Would you be able to tag and title at this specificity of keywords? Let's look into it. So the keyword here for my tags is ethereal light, comma, spiritual ascension, comma, mystical atmosphere, comma, serene transformation, comma, divine presence, comma, celestial energy, comma, illuminated figure, comma, cosmic connection, comma, Sacred Journey, comma, 
transcendent experience, comma. Uh, the next one is Argonaut of Enlightenment. I have to look at that word for a second, comma. Uh, glowing revelation, comma. Magical aura, comma. Otherworldly vision, comma. Meditative essence, comma. Now, these are 15 different tags that were used. Not only are they long tail, but they're packed with words, and they're packed with quite advanced vocabulary, if you will. I mean, you look at the word Argonaut. I'm going to have to learn what that is so I can use it in my daily vocabulary. Quite interesting. I've been, as you guys know, trying to focus a little bit more on improving the way I speak and the way I sound on this microphone so I could produce better videos. But hey, that seems like overall some pretty advanced form of tagging. In, in fact, I would say it's quite eccentric, if you will. I wouldn't usually tag this way myself. In fact, I would probably never tag this way myself. And I could beg to say that probably 99.9% .9 of the people on Adobe Stock as a platform are not tagging like this. And so what does Adobe prioritize at this point in our, in our research? They prioritize diversity. They prioritize the need to, to bring new things to their platform, which overall helps reduce rejection rates. Now, let's be honest, not every single photo is going to be tagged this advanced, but why is this photo tagged that way? It's tagged that way with that, I guess you could say, advanced form of vocabulary, sophisticated form of vocabulary, because that's exactly the instructions that we provided to it in the instruction set. So if you look here, title instructions that I provided was aesthetic forward language, hinting at theme, texture, and time. The keyword instructions were exquisite, sophisticated, long-tail keywords that paint the image in poetic terms. Now, once again, this is the mind frame, the paradigm, if you will, that we are instructing the AI agent to think in when creating these, I guess you could say, these tags and these titles. Let's look at an image like this, a cute lion, right? And let's see, does it take it over the top for an image like this with my certain set of instructions? So let's read the title first. Adorable, playful cartoon lion illustration in whimsical yellow ma majesty. Cute, happy character animation for cheerful children's art graphics. I don't think that's advanced vocabulary whatsoever. I think the only advanced keyword here in the whole entire list set uh, for, the, for the title was the word whimsical. And even whimsical is not really that advanced. So I personally like the way that it titled that. And then here we have, uh, for the tags, we have lion, comma, cartoon, comma, illustration, comma, playful, comma, character, comma, whimsical, comma, adorable, comma, yellow, comma, majesty, comma, happy, comma, cute, comma, animation, comma, graphics, comma, children's art, comma, cheerful. Pretty interesting. Pretty and pretty honestly simple. It's It doesn't, you know, go over the top with this. Um, it's not like annoyingly verbose. And once again, that's only based on my instructions. So it just goes to show you how intelligent this thing thinks. Now here we have a picture of a robot. You can look at the keywords here. I'm not going to just sit here and read them. But you can look through as I'm clicking. You could pause the video, read through some of the tags, see if you like it. But the good thing to understand here is, number one, I could never compete with an AI tool in terms of tagging and titling. I'm definitely going to make spelling mistakes. I'm definitely going to have grammatical errors. And more importantly, I'm not going to be able to work as fast. And so for me, it just makes sense. I pay $50 a month for the tool, and I can use the tool month to month to month to month without necessarily having to put some real effort and waste a lot of time into this. But it can do just as good of a job as any pl human on the planet and to be honest, do a better job, do a quicker job. And it won't complain. It's not going to talk back. It's not going to show up late to work. It's not going to have any of those kind of issues. And it makes life tremendously easy. So this was a live comparison. I hope you enjoyed this video, a live comparison on human beings versus AI, which one is better for titling and for tagging. And like I said, if you guys have more questions, Leave them in the comments down below. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Peace out. Bye.